In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page in Stan to promote products or anything that you want to for specific groups of customers. This can really increase your conversion rate and a great part of Stan. If you're new here, this is Create with Pennies and we talk all about creating income online, including selling digital products and running a Stan store. So there are videos on my channel on how to get started with Stan. Check those out. Links are in the description. And now let's get started on creating a landing page. When you log into Stan, you'll be in your back end. You'll probably be on home. Then you're going to click my store in the sidebar. And that brings you generally to where your products are. And you'll want to click the landing pages in the center of the top menu here. So once you land on landing pages, if you have some, they'll be listed or you click the create button. Once you click the create button, you'll have the option to choose the product type. So this is basically what you will be promoting on your landing page. So you can do a custom product, a digital product, coaching call, course, webinar, a recurring membership. There's all sorts of options here. So I'm going to go ahead and click digital product. And that's what we're going to promote. Creating a landing page is very similar to how you create a product in your store. So if you already have a product, you may already have a lot of this done, but creating a landing page gives you an option to tailor the sales content on the page to a specific audience, which can really increase your conversions. So it works the same way as everything you've done before in Stan store. If you don't know how to create a product, definitely check out the videos I have on my channel. But to do a landing page, basically we select an image first. We start up here at the top. Everything on Stan is really easy. It's always numbered. So one, two, three, four, you just follow the steps. It's incredibly easy and you can follow along with this video. So first we're going to choose an image. So they have a little laptop already selected. If you don't have an image for your product, you can scroll through the options that they have. You can search keywords. So maybe you are working on on something business related. So you search business and you find something that you really like and you select that. Then you can move the crop around and decide what it looks like. So which parts you want to include and then click crop. Once you do that, it will show on the landing page what it will look like. You can also, of course, choose your own image. So once you click choose image, you would drag your image here in this first square or click upload image and you'll be able to select from your computer. So you can find an image that is for the products that you're doing. So let's say we're going to pull an image from my computer so we can pull it over, do the same with the cropping and click crop. So it really just depends on what you are trying to create with your product. Since these landing pages are to convert people better, you probably want a custom image here. So we are going to go to the next section, which is to write a description. So I did say we were going to do a digital product, then I uploaded a community image. So definitely tailor yours a little more specifically than I'm doing in this video, but this is just an example to give you an idea of how to create the page. The next section is the content on your page. So this is what they call the description and it says write description and you do a title and then the content, the description body. And then down here, you also have a second title and then you get to decide what you want the call to action button to be. So that's everything included in the description. So it's basically all of the content. So you can play around with what is here. Um, usually you're going to, of course, go, you can use the template they already have. So it says get my product now and you would just put in the product name right there. So whatever you're trying to promote, you could do that. Or you can do something a little more custom. And if you have some sales copy you've already written, you can go with that. Next is the description body. So here you would also, of course, change everything out if you want to use the template they already have. So you would put in the product name where it was and then what it will teach you. So this product will teach you how to sell digital products. So let's go with that. And then it just adjust everything here. You can also click click the generate with AI and it will come up with a little bit more specific option with a lot more words. The AI option is very wordy compared to what they have as the original template. So you could use this. If you want to use the AI, you click replace and it will just put it in the description. So then you would change out all of the things that don't make sense. And if something doesn't actually apply, you would just delete it. Basically, you really need to go through the AI option and adjust it to 
make sense because it will kind of not do things exactly right. So you want to make sure that your body of copy here is very much tailored to your product and is convincing the person to buy. So whatever your product is, make sure that it's tailored to that product and gives the pain points that the audience has and then gives why that product will solve those problems. That's really all you need to do in sales copy on a landing page. So next we're going to go down to the bottom title. So down here it says get my guide. You can leave that or you, you can say get my product or you can basically have something a little bit better than that. That's a little more specific, but you can edit the bottom title. Then down here, the call to action button, you can leave it as purchase or you can change it to something else. You have the option to play around with what this says and change it up. And then the third thing you can do on the landing page is set the price. So you can change the price to whatever you want. Let's say you're doing a slightly higher price product. So you want it to be $47, but you're going to launch it at a discount and you want it to be 37. So to do that, you just toggle on the discount price, enter the discount price here, and then it will show as the discounted price. If you want to turn that off, you toggle it off. It goes back to the regular price. This is an easy way to play around with the pricing of your product. So you can send traffic to this page and then change the pricing and see what works better. Is it the discount? Is it the real price? You can figure that out by sending traffic and seeing what actually makes sales. Then if you scroll down to number four, this is the info you want to collect for your customers. So you definitely want name and email at the very minimum. You can also add phone number. So they have phone number here, but they have it hidden. So if you want to show it so that customers have to put it in, you can click the little I and that will show it. So you can see here, you have, they have to enter their phone number. You can decide to make it required if you toggle this on, or if you don't, you can turn it off. And again, if you don't want the phone number, you can hide it. You can also add field. So if you click add field, you can add text, multiple choice, drop down, or check boxes. If you're doing a digital product, sometimes you might want to say you understand that this is a digital product, so you won't get anything physical. So something like that sometimes helps people that are selling digital products and they've had problems with customers wanting them to be shipped and wondering where their product is. So you might want some sort of checkbox for that. So that's an option. And of course, if you want to remove it, you can delete it by clicking the little trash can and that removes it. So that's basically how you can do that. And then the final step is to actually upload the digital product. This is the option for the digital product. For the other types of content, when you're making landing pages, this part will be different at the bottom. So you can either upload a file or redirect to a URL. So if you have a course that you've hidden on YouTube and it's all YouTube videos, you could put the link in there. Or if it's in Google Drive, you have a file that's too big to upload, you put it in Google Drive, you can put the link there. Or of course you can upload the file. To do that, you click upload, then you select the item, you click open and it uploads the file. So you upload your file and you can click download and check it out to make sure it's right. That's an option you have. You will see the asset or you can also delete it, remove it, and then upload a different file if needed. When you save as draft, it will be listed under landing pages. So you can always go back, click it. And when you are ready, you scroll down to the bottom and click publish. Once you click publish, your page will be up and running and live. So you can basically copy the URL and send it to anyone anyone that you want, anyone that you think is going to benefit from seeing that page. So it will look like your stand store design. I have a really simple one on mine, but you can design these pages to look like almost anything. They can be really great. There are people that sell stand store templates as well. So there's, there's lots of options. Also under your store, you can go to edit design and play around with what the design looks like. Again, mine is very simple, but there are lots of options inside of stand to change how it looks. So you you do have the option to play around with that in Stan as well. And you can implement templates too. So another option, when you go back to your landing page, click on that, you go to options. So this is where you can add a lot of different things to your page. So you can add reviews if you have customer reviews of your products. If you want to add that and you think it will increase your conversions, you can add customer reviews by clicking add review and then the name and the text. I actually don't love this feature because on Stan you are adding the reviews as the owner of the product. I prefer sites that the customer actually adds the reviews and sometimes they're not all five stars, but it's realistic. And I do prefer that better on things like Shopify or Etsy. But this is an option if you do want to add reviews that you do have that are legitimate and make your product look better. So when you scroll down, you'll have reviews here that will show up. If you don't like that, you can click the delete button.
good. It also has all of these other options for the page. So you can do email flows and order bump and affiliate share, a lot of different options under this, under options. You can also edit the page URL, which I would do because this is kind of what they created for the URL, get my product now, X-E-5-O-H. That's not the prettiest. So I would change it to the name of the product or whatever it is, just make it look a little bit prettier and then click publish. So that way when you're sharing that URL, it looks a little bit nicer when people are putting it in. It's also potentially easier to remember yourself if you're just sharing with people. So it would be your stand store name, P, and then the name of the product. That'll just make it easier and cleaner and look more professional. So once your landing page is out there, you have a few options. When you click on the three dots to the right, you can copy the URL, which we were doing to check that our page looks right. You can also click unpublish, which will remove this so no one can find it. You can duplicate the product so you can create another landing page basically just like this. You can also move it to the store if you want it to show on your stand store when you go to your main stand store. So you can see in my stand store, that page that we just created does not show. That is the beauty of the landing page. You can share your shop and People will never ever see this unless they have that specific URL that you just created. This is something you can use to test out different products, different sales copy. It is really useful to be able to create all these landing pages on your store. And this can really increase your income so much. The fact that they offer this inside the $29 plan is incredible. But if you do want to move it to your store, you can click move to store. So then it would show under the option right here, it would be a product, but when it moves over, it is draft. So you would have to go in and publish it. It does need all of the thumbnail information. So it will still have everything you did on the checkout page, but it won't have the thumbnail info to be a product. So if you need to do that, you can check out my other video. The other option, if you've moved it to store and you want it to go back to landing pages. So once it leaves landing pages, it's no longer there. You can also click the three dots when it's under the product page and click make landing page and that just moves it back over to landing page. So that means it will not be listed in your store. It will not have a thumbnail when you share your main store page. It will not be in your link in bio. It will just be a specific landing page that you can direct people to, but they can't find on their own. So that is the beauty of landing pages. They are so useful if you are trying to sell products or trying to book coaching calls. If you're trying to test out something new and do something different, this is a fantastic option and something I highly recommend recommend doing a lot of different landing pages and testing things out. Definitely play around with it. It's a fantastic tool. If you haven't already started on Stand Store, I do have a link in the description box to get started. You can have a free trial, play around with it, see if you like using it and creating pages and products. It's a really great option that is both link in bio and also allows you to build courses, create products, have all of these awesome things for only $29 a month. So if you wanted to have that free trial, definitely click the the link in the description box and get started. I also have other videos about Stan on my channel, so definitely check those out. They are linked below as well, and watch this one next.